Tell me what you want, what you really, really want. and p Am I right? Darn tootin' right I am. Men are awesome. Also, chances are, if you're watching this video, you like video games as well. So I'm gonna let you in on a little secret here. Sometimes game developers put your favourite pubic bits into games. I know. Crazy! However, it's not always telegraphed beforehand. Like opening your fridge to find a peach blancmange. A pleasant surprise, but a surprise nonetheless. With that in mind, I'm Ben from What Culture, and here are 10 video games with unexpected nudity. A quick and obvious disclaimer, this video is not safe for work and from now on there'll be nips, boobs and awkward sex noises. So, headphones on, yeah? Number 10. Metro Last Light. Metro Last Light is a dark game which takes place in the metro systems of Russia following a nuclear apocalypse. There are little settlements, shops, gangs, radioactive mutants and these absolutely delightful beings called the Dark Ones. When protagonist Artyom arrives in a flooded station called Venice, he can pay a visit to a strip club. Because it doesn't matter if the world is over, boobs are forever. Or something. Here she is, getting right up in the screen there. Hello. Yes, very nice. Have you spoken to your father recently? Number 9. Dante's Inferno Based loosely on the Divine Comedy, Dante is charged with traversing the nine circles of hell to retrieve his wife, who's on holiday or something. Anyway, obviously it's all about that circle attributed to lust. And wouldn't you know it, you have a big boss battle against a towering, topless Cleopatra who... Oh god. Who appears to be excreting minions from her mammary glands and depositing them onto the battlefield. You know what makes this even worse? The sound. Mr. Editor Man, please play the sound that occurs when she secretes grunts from her bosom. Ugh. Like the sound of punching a wet cake. Number eight. Heavy Rain. I love Heavy Rain. I love its story. I love its characters. I love its slightly wonky voice acting. Well, this won't get beat. Lil Rain never hurt nobody. And I even love its bonkers, slightly shit director, David Cage. I suppose you could call him a shit game director for wackers. Hashtag shit game director for wackers. If you do call him that, though, then I'm very much a wacker. Look, I even have a signed picture on my wall from him. He makes adult games for adults, and as such, it wasn't surprising to come across a shower scene involving one of the game's protagonists, Madison Page. What did shock, however, was when the camera panned around to reveal uncensored nip. Shocking. Number seven, Enemy Zero. No areolas in this one, chaps. Enemy Zero for the Sega Saturn is probably the most obscure title on this list, as it was created solely for that ill-fated Sega Saturn. The game was about an alien infestation on an abandoned spaceship, packaged into a first-person adventure. And beyond some horror elements, the game didn't feature much in the way of adult material. However, if players were able to complete the game on normal, that infamously impossible difficulty level, then they were rewarded with a surprise nude shower scene at the start of a new game. No idea why her hair's still up in the shower, though. That's weird. Number 6. Castlevania Lords of Shadow The reimagining of the classic series received positive reviews when it launched in 2010, with Gabriel Belmont wanting to kill a load of demons with his special powers and weapons and stuff. However, most notable of all was the variety and quality of the boss battles, featuring great hulking beasts, and in one case, a sudden, topless lady demon. What makes it even more unexpected is that the monster appears to be preparing to unleash hell before she just... Well, unleashes her chest. Yes. Number 5. The Witcher 2 Assassins of Kings. Back before The Witcher 3 went boobs to the wall with how cool everyone was with Geralt f***ing everything that moves, The Witcher 2 really kicked things off with a bang. Sex pun, sound the sex pun siren, by having Triss and Geralt wake up next to each other in bed totally naked. Sweet, we all said, before being subjected to another 50 hours of constant nudity. Shout out to Yennefer, Shawnee, and all the other conquests the White Wolf has claimed to love. Number 4. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. Featuring excessive profanity, frequent innuendo, and a giant boss composed entirely of poo, Conquer's Bad Fur Day was absolutely bonkers. One particular moment, however, scarred a generation of gamers. At one point during the game, Conquer comes across a bee who's down on his luck, and naturally, he offers to help, leading a small army of bees to 
tickle a lady sunflower, causes her to move her leaf arms, and reveal two massive green chesticles. The bee then proceeds to pollinate her, and, well, you know what? I can't do it justice. Look at Conker's face, and, uh, Captain Editor Man, please turn off the music for a few seconds. Listen to that. Nature is beautiful. Number three. Grand Theft Auto 5. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't hit that dislike button and comment about how you're gonna unsubscribe just yet. Yes, we know that obviously GTA would have nudity in it. After all, Taboo is but the name of the waitress who brings Rockstar employees their contractually mandated cocaine. I'm talking about one moment in particular, when Trevor, the lovable psych ward hall of famer that he is, drops his undercrackers in front of a bewildered Floyd. While the camera only ever shows buttocks, you can't help but fixate on whether they're actually going to show show his man wang. And then, don't you know it, he crouches down to pull up his trousers, and there's a screen full of cock and balls. Number 2. Fahrenheit slash Indigo Prophecy. Guess who's back? Back again? French egotist David Cage is back. Tell a friend. Cage's first real foray into emotional storytelling was Fahrenheit on PS2, and in spite of thinking it would be just fine to feature in his own game to guide you through the tutorial, it was actually rather good. However, play your cards right with ex-girlfriend Tiffany and you're suddenly thrust, sex pun, sound the sex pun siren, into a gratuitous sex scene. Not satisfied with the abrupt, jarring copulation, you're actually forced to partake by pushing buttons in time with the moans. I only played it a few weeks ago and I'm still a little sickened by it. Number 1. Far Cry 3 Far Cry 3 was really bloody good. You got stuck on an island full of marauding murderers and your college chums get captured, forcing you to start down a dark path of killing everything in sight. It all culminated with a decision that, in real life, would be absolutely not a decision at all. You could either slit the throat of your girlfriend and side with the locals, or stay with your friends. Obviously you'd want to save your friends, that's what the game's about after all, but if you are a mad fool and want to switch sides, Citra will do a sex with you right in the middle of the screen. Maybe there are people standing around, watching. Maybe. Anyway, she stabs you in the chest right after you're done, so, well, that serves you right, really. And that's our list. Is there any rogue nudity we missed off? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You can even follow me here on Twitter if you fancy. I'm Ben from What Culture, and thanks for watching.